Inmate Christopher Scarver killed Jeffrey Dahmer on November 28, 1994, forever cementing his name in the history books as the man who put a conclusive end to the one the world knew as the Milwaukee Cannibal. But Dahmer wasn't the only man who would be murdered on that fateful autumn day, as fellow inmate Jesse Anderson would also meet his end at the hands of Scarver. But what made Scarver suddenly decide to take two lives after seemingly living a peaceful existence in prison for the previous four years? To understand that, we'll have to start at the beginning. Scarver was born two days after Independence Day on July 6, 1969, and grew up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. He did make it through most of his schooling, but would eventually drop out of high school in the 11th grade. His mother would also kick him out of their home, as his addiction to marijuana and alcohol grew. He would then enter the workforce, becoming a carpenter trainee under the Wisconsin Conservation Corps program, hoping to attain full-time work. However, Scarver would be fired by his supervisor from the program, which took his life down an even darker path. He began drinking heavily and began to hear voices in his head telling him that he was, quote, the chosen one. And this is when things got really bad. June 1st, 1990, 21 year old Scarver grabbed his 25 caliber semi automatic pistol and went to the Conservation Corps training office, where he found site manager John Fayen and employee Steve Lohman. He turned his gun on Lohman, forcing him to the ground while demanding money from Fayen. After being given only $15, Scarver shot Lohman in the head, killing him immediately, then shouted at Fayen, quote, Now do you think I'm kidding? I need more money. Scarver then shot the deceased Lohman twice more, as Fayen produced a check for $3,000, giving it to Scarver. Fayen managed to knock the gun from Scarver's hand as he fled to his vehicle. Scarver fired at him, but missed. Hours later, authorities would arrest Scarver at his girlfriend's house. This incident would lead to Scarver being convicted of first-degree intentional homicide, for which he'd be sentenced to life in prison at the Columbia Correctional Institution in 1992. And remember those voices Scarver said he was hearing in his head? He would later be diagnosed with schizophrenia and messianic delusions. Schizophrenia is defined as a serious mental health condition that affects how people think, feel, and behave. It may result in a mix of hallucinations, delusions, and disorganized thinking and behavior. Hallucinations involve seeing things or hearing voices that aren't observed by others. Messianic delusions is defined as a type of religious delusion that involve a person believing they are the savior of humanity. People with messianic delusions may experience a range of symptoms, including that they have been chosen by God for a special mission and have special powers to carry it out. But why did Christopher Scarver kill Jeffrey Dahmer and Jesse Anderson? Two years later, on the morning of November 28, 1994, fellow inmates Jeffrey Dahmer and Jesse Anderson would be on work detail with Scarver in the prison gymnasium. They had no idea they were working with the man who would take their life. Scarver claims that on that morning, he was filling his mop bucket with water when one of the men had poked him in the back. Quote, I turned around, and Dahmer and Jesse were kind of laughing under their breath. I looked right into their eyes, and I couldn't tell which had done it. As the men went their separate ways, Scarver followed Dahmer. He confronted him while wielding a metal bar he'd found in the prison's weight room, asking Dahmer about the crimes he'd committed. 
Quote, I asked him if he did those things because I was fiercely disgusted. He was shocked. Yes, he was. He started looking for the door pretty quick. I blocked him. He ended up dead. I put his head down. He would then find Anderson in the showers and beat him severely with a wooden stick. Scarver commented on how the situation unfolded. He stopped for a second and looked around. He was looking to see if any officials were there. There were none. Pretty much the same thing happened. Scarver then returned to his prison cell, and what he told correctional officers is chilling. Quote, God told me to do it. Jesse Anderson and Jeffrey Dahmer are dead. Dahmer would be rushed to the hospital and declared dead an hour after his arrival. Anderson remained on life support for two days before doctors pulled the plug. Scarver was convicted of each murder, receiving two more life sentences, to which he responded, quote, Nothing white people do to blacks is just. But new testimony from Scarver reveals what may have led to his shocking crimes. Quote, He crossed the line with some people, prisoners, prison staff. Some people who are in prison are repentant, but he was not one of them. Did Scarver murder Jeffrey Dahmer because of his own messianic delusions, as if he was working for the Lord? It sounds possible, but the murder of Jesse Anderson is a different story. In a recent interview, Scarver claims Anderson was racist for defacing a picture of Martin Luther King. Quote, there was a picture in the arts and crafts room that a prisoner had spent a lot of time painting, and he hung it up in that room to dry. Anderson painted a blood dot on Martin Luther King's forehead as if it were a bullet wound. Scarver was also furious that Anderson tried to claim his wife's murder was committed by two black men. Anderson initially told police that his wife had been killed by a pair of black men but witnesses revealed a different story. He would later be convicted of the murder of his own wife. In 2001, Scarver and dozens of other severely mentally ill inmates were relocated from the Wisconsin facility they'd been held at. He is now in the Centennial Correctional Facility in Colorado. Bludge in the subscribe button and mop handle the like button before you watch these killer videos on Jeffrey Dahmer.